So someone given one assignment, okay? I forgot actually. Sir, uh, huh. right? So see here. Let's now discuss it, okay? Very carefully discuss it, okay? This is also one important thing I thought of. I will cover it, okay? Print the incident numbers for those incidents which are associated with the problem record and created in last 30 days. Okay. So now I need all break. Let's break it. Okay. Design. I need first I need what I need to print gs dot print of gr dot number. That is incident number. Gr inc dot number. This is what I need to print. Correct, Nama. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, all the incidents? No. The incidents which are having a problem. So, first thing is, okay, go to this incident table. Okay. And then, first thing, apply a filter called, okay, incident problem equal to not null. Okay. At least this list, this list you need to print it there. Correct? Yes, sir. After that, you need to get the incidents inside the problem and then print it. So the design is not like this, but design is a really different way. Okay, very carefully see here. Okay, first to go to the problem where GR equal to new glide record of problem table. First two. Okay, you go here. Right now, apply a filter. Right, so uh, created. Okay, uh, created 30 days ma. in last 30 days. So created, how to say in this month? Huh? Later before. Relative. Uh, relative. Okay. Relative before 30 days. I'll just put like this, okay? Let it come, no issues. Correct now? Before 30 days from now. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Run it. Okay. So these, these problems are created. In, within 30 days okay so good so create it just check it i am also don't i also don't know i'm just we are all trying now okay i have a requirement i'm just using my common sense that's it okay don't say like i know every script no one knows every script okay good right you have now the series of problems it's the first level is this one everyone agree to this point Yes, sir. Now, second thing is taking this each problem and then going to incident table and then applying a filter. Okay, so let's say like this. Okay, go here, take this one, give me a second. Okay, go to this one. Okay, go to the incident table, right? Apply a filter. Okay, and if it have any print this three and then again go to this one okay take this one okay and go and apply a filter <coughs> if it have any right and then print this incidents like this you need to get all the incidents and print it is that the correct requirement yes you all agree this is the correct requirement yes everyone yes Yes or no? Yes. So, do it here. Okay, I'll just give the sketch with uh, without checking the syntaxes. Why to give? I don't.
I think you are getting what I am trying to write here. Sir, but variable declaration you are given GR and GR1, sir. Mm, because two different tables, no? Two times we need to do, right, separately. One is incident, one is problem. Okay, sir. <clears throat> Okay, so I went to in problem table, got all the problems, okay, which are created just before, okay, some 30 days, something in this 30 days, and then got all of them, and then querying it. So in each GR, one, one, one problem will come. Then taking that problem, then going inside the incident table, and matching the problem ID equal to the GR CCID, means problem CCID, which is coming from here. And if any incident is there, with these problems matched, then I'm printing that incident. That means I'm printing those incidents which are attached to the problem which are created 30 days before. Correct? Yes. So, line number uh, 13. Right? So, I'm here. One is needed. So, another one is needed. So, good. Hmm. These are the incidents, ma. These are the incidents that are associated with problems which are created 30 days before. If you want to make it more granular, okay, GS dot print of GR, okay, is attached to the problem. gr dot number okay now you how it will print the number with the problem number will print correct it's correct this is what your requirement if you write this code now in interview if they don't give the job you can beat and come yes or no yes no sir Yes, sir. Hmm. Good. Right. So practice this. Who asked this interview question? Who asked this scenario? Someone asked this scenario, correct? I can't see your screen. Okay, so even this also kind of advanced scripting, no? Now we are understanding it, no? See, script can be anything. Script will requirement will change. You know, anything can come. Okay. First, if you understand it, then from where you are starting, from where you are ending, what you have, what you need. Correct. I have something. I need something. That is only the server side script. Yes, Nama. Everyone correct. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So, similarly, I have one more requirement, okay, get all the incidents, active incidents, okay, which are associated with, okay, closed problem. get them and close them what is the meaning of this one so maybe due to some technical issue okay when the problem is closed now the associated incidents are not getting closed problem is closed but incidents are still active okay that time we need to identify if any incidents are there which are still active 
but the problem which is associated with that is closed identify them and close them this is our platform cleanup activity make sense is that is this requirement you understood maybe my english is is that correct understood sir so if this is the case the same kind of logic you do here correct if it is, you run it from background script one time execution you write the same kind of script am i right